Good afternoon, Captain James Polk here, the Marion County Sheriff's Office with your daily crime report. Someone broke into a home in the 16,200 block of Northeast 139th Terrace by prying open the door. Once inside, they stole a gun safe, had 14 guns in it, gold coins and knives. Total loss there was $8,100. Then we had an unlocked vehicle at the park, uh, Florida Horse Park, when someone entered a vehicle, stole a purse that had $300 cash in it and credit cards. And then Joseph Baganever, 36 years of age, he was arrested by Pinellas Police Department after he was found driving a stolen 2005 Tahoe that was stolen from the Ford of Ocala on North Pine. And then Froyland Rodriguez, 39 years of age, is alleged to have stolen $20,000 in property and caused $4,100 worth of damage to a home in the 5300 block of Northeast 62nd Street that's up in Oak. He moved out of the rental home. Rodriguez was arrested back in December for growing marijuana inside the house, so you know that totally ruins everything in the house. Then units responded to the 10,000 block of Southeast 47th Avenue, reference to a disturbance. Upon arrival, units were advised that Benny Keys, 23 years of age, he was arguing with his girlfriend and proceeded to grab a handgun and fire it at her, along with two other victims. Benny was arrested without incident, and fortunately for everyone, there was no injuries. Then we had K-9 Deputy Crawford. He attempted a traffic stop on a vehicle that was speeding. The vehicle uh, stopped, but then fled at a high rate of speed. The driver uh, stopped and then attempted to flee on foot, but he was apprehended by Deputy Sorrells and K-9 Deputy Crawford. Located in the vehicle was marijuana, cocaine, a 9 millimeter handgun, and $400 worth of cash. So, Jamail Whitaker, 22 years of age, he was arrested. So you scream, I scream, we all scream for ice cream. Yes, the ice cream truck was being driven down the road on the Northeast 35th Street when the driver was flagged down by three unknown black males. Uh, they stopped the ice cream truck and ordered a hot sausage and attempted to pay with a counterfeit $20 bill. This is where things went very bad. The victim refused the fake money and one of the suspects pulled out a gun. The victim attempted to grab the gun but was struck in the head by another one of the suspects. The three men fled in an older model blue Cadillac and we are currently looking for them. Fortunately, no ice cream was damaged in this. Anyway, like us, share us, happy Monday, as good as you can make it. And we'll see you on Taco Tastic Tuesday. See you tomorrow.